Well, Daisy, as much as I'd like to cuddle you, I've got another video to make for YouTube. So I'm afraid, oh dear, I'm going to have to put you down. This is Daisy, the real star of my channel, who provides a lot of the hair for the demonstrations. Mm. But for now, Daisy, off you go. I'll get my laptop and uh, continue with part two of my Christmas shout out videos. Hello, Oscar B. Hello and Merry Christmas. Please say hello to Oscar B. He is seven and watches your channel a lot. We both do. Thanks to your demonstrations, we now have a Henry and Hetty lol. He also has other Hetty and Henry toy hoovers and books and Pneumatic kindly sent him a goodie bag earlier this year as well. He also has Dyson toy hoovers and a toy cordless Dyson which he copies your reviews with. He would love a hello. He always asks if I think Roger will say hello to him. Well, Roger has said hello to you, Oscar. I hope you had a happy Christmas and possibly you got something to add to your vacuum collection. Hi, Roger. Lincoln would love a shout out from you. Hello, Lincoln. Lincoln is two and has been watching your videos for a good year, if not longer. He's watched them so much, he even knows what you're going to say next. Knows the video from hearing it from the next room and quotes you when playing with his own Henrys. And it looks like Lincoln has made a big, big mess there with some coloured polystyrene balls. I hope he's going to pick them all up. Well, that mains powered Henry Reach will have no trouble picking all that up. I'm sure, Lincoln, that you cleaned all that mess up, didn't you? And it's all very well making a mess as long as you've got permission of your parents to do so and of course as long as you clear it all up at the end because I do sometimes make a lot of mess in my videos but by the time the video's over everything has been cleaned up so always get permission though anyone watching if you're going to make a mess ask first and make sure you clean it up but I'm sure Lincoln you cleaned up that mess there so uh, happy Christmas to you. Judging by this photograph, we have another pneumatic fan. Hi Roger, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Please could you give a shout out to Isaac, aged nine. He has followed your page for as long as we can remember. His favorite hoovers are any type of pneumatics and is building up quite a collection. He even did a full rebuild of Henry this year with the help of his dad. Here's a photo of him with his current collection, which no doubt will continue to grow. Thanks for all your fantastic videos. Well, Isaac, did your pneumatic collection grow by at least one for Christmas? Did you get another edition? I mean, what? I can't see it. Have you got a George? I think you have got a George. Or is that a Green Henry? Again, I can't see the picture. I'll have to make it a little bigger. I think that's a Green Henry, isn't it? Oh, I don't think you've... Uh, no, you've got... Is that a Charles? I think you've got a Charles, haven't you? There's no George. George would look very nice in that little collection. And, of course, there's no Henry Quick. But perhaps... Who knows? Perhaps you've got a Henry Quick or another pneumatic for Christmas. So, happy Christmas to you, Isaac. There's no photo with this shout out, but I know I've given a shout out to this particular vacuum fan before. Merry Christmas, Roger. Please say hello to Charlie Pratt and his sisters, Lizzie and Rosie. As you know, Charlie is an avid fan and vacuum enthusiast. He is hoping Santa will bring him a Bissell pet stain eraser this year. It's the children's birthdays in January too, and they're so excited. Thank you for everything you do on your channel. We love it. Well, you're welcome. Everyone's welcome. I'm glad you love what I do. Um, I quite like it as well, to be honest. I wouldn't be making all these videos if I didn't enjoy it myself, but it is nice to know that so many people enjoy them as well. My silly little videos on the vacuum cleaner. Um, I still find it very difficult to believe that people are interested, but obviously they are. And as people are still interested, I'll still make the videos. So uh, on Charlie's wedding day, if you want to shout out, you know, and you're getting married um, and your, bride, you, your bridesmaids are heti vacuums being pulled along. Now, that would be a sight, wouldn't it? 
If I ever get married, I could do that. Have Henry and Hetty. Have Hetty as the ring bearer. Mmm, and other vacuums. Of course, I'd have to have the dogs in, in the ceremony as well. That's something to think about, isn't it? But anyway, Merry Christmas to um, the Pratt family, especially Charlie, Lizzie and Rosie. Well, judging by this picture, we have yet another young pneumatic fan. Please give a shout out to Frankie, aged four. He has a total love of Hoovers and collects as many as he can. And we even have Hoover picnics at home. He was very lucky enough to visit the pneumatic factory in August, where he got to make his very own Henry. Well, what can I say? Do you get to keep it? Do you get to keep the Henry you make? I wonder if you do. That would be very good if you got to keep it. But I'm sure you had a lovely day out at the pneumatic factory and I expect they gave you a few little Henry goodies to take home with you, didn't they? So another very lucky boy to go and visit the place where Henry's and Hetty's and all the pneumatics are born. It must have been an absolutely fabulous time for you. So Merry Christmas to you, Frankie. Hello, Toby. Here's Toby, he's aged five. He continues to be a huge fan of your channel and a favorite game is pretending to make his own vlogs doing mess tests with his growing collection. Toby is hoping that Father Christmas brings more vacuums this year and hopes he is good to you too. Well, I'm sure Father Christmas did manage to get a vacuum or two in his sleigh for you, Toby. I hope whatever he brought, I'm sure you're enjoying playing with them. I know I would have been five years old to get a vacuum for Christmas. Um, I don't think Father Christmas is bringing me a vacuum because there's no point. I put a request in, you know, I, I sent him an email, you know, I didn't know his proper address. I just sent him an email and asked for a few. And he sent me an email back and said, you've already got too many. I'm sorry, I, I can't this year. So never mind. I do have too many, really. But I'm sure you enjoyed whatever Santa or Father Christmas brought you, Toby. This is George looking very cool in his Vans t-shirt surrounded by many different vacuum cleaners. There's certainly some pneumatics there, Dysons, and I spot a Vax there hiding behind George. Please can George have a shout out. He is nine and lives in Suffolk. He loves your videos and has a huge collection of his own, mainly Henry's and Dyson's, but also the Sibo, Vax, Shark and Electrolux. Here are just a few. George is hoping to get the VacMaster Captura for Christmas this year and enjoyed watching your unboxing video. Well, I hope you did get the VacMaster Captura, George. It's a pretty good machine, isn't it? Well, hopefully you know that by now because you've probably used it. So um, happy Christmas to you, George, and uh, good luck with your collecting in the future. You've certainly got off to a good start with the the selection that I can see in that photo. Hello, George and Elliot. My Henry obsessed twin sons, George and Elliot would love a shout out. The boys recently got a letter from Pneumatic with Henry beanies, books and key rings inside after we were declined a factory visit as the boys are under seven. Every year I think their passion will lessen, but it carries on strong. Top of their Christmas list are some new Kasdan, Henry and Hetty vacuums this year. All the best to you and your family at Christmas. Well, thank you to Mum Emily and hello again to George and Elliot. And I don't know who's who. George or Elliot is reading the Henry and Hetty Space Adventure. This little boy, dressed as an iRobot Roomba, is called Bastion. My son Bastion loves your reviews. He's a big Henry fan too. You can see that over the years, he's also shifted his love to the robot vacuum. Well, Bastion, I have got quite a few robot vacuums, but I haven't really shown very many on my channel yet. But hopefully next year, I'll rectify that and finish making videos of the other robotic cleaners I've got, because I've got a fair few that I've not shown, but I've had them for quite a few months maybe over a year for some of them, including a, a self-emptying iRobot, um, another iRobot, and some floor washing robots as well. And I need to get some new batteries for that Electrolux Trilobite, if you've seen that video. 
that was the first commercially available or widely available robotic vacuum cleaner on the market, the Trilobite. But I think, although I got it new in the box, the batteries weren't, you know, performing as they should. So I must make a mental note to order a couple of sets of batteries for that and then I'll show it again at some point alongside some other robotic vacuums. Yes, I do like them. They're a nice handy little thing to have, aren't they, to help clean up. But I like vacuuming too much. I could never let a robot do all the vacuuming because where's the fun in that? But they're fun to watch, aren't they? Picking up all the dirt. As long as they don't come across a little accident, the dog's done on the carpet. Although I know I robot have a robot that senses if there's a little naughty deposit left by a dog or a cat and will go around it. Well, that's a theory and I should test that out one day. I'll have to get one of those. So happy Christmas to you, Bastian. I hope you got something nice, maybe a new robotic vacuum to add to your collection. Look at this cool dude. Hello, Jeffrey. Please give a shout out to my awesome five-year-old son, Jeffrey, who is obsessed with vacuums and now smoke detectors. One of his favorite activities is lining up all his vacuums and vacuum toys and assembling and reassembling them. He has asked for a toy Mila specifically this year. Whenever we go to someone's house, his first step is to make sure they have enough smoke detectors in the house, then ask to try out their sweeper. Thank you for all you do. Well, Jeffrey, I've got smoke detectors in my house. I, I must test them, actually. I haven't tested them for quite some time. And they're all linked together. So if one smoke detector goes off, they all should, in theory, go off. And also in my kitchen, I've got a carbon monoxide detector as well. There is a, it's not a smoke detector in the kitchen because it would go off if you burnt the toast. It's a heat detector on my kitchen ceiling. So if it detects a lot of heat, obviously that will set the alarm as well. So I'm glad you're into those. And anyone watching, if you haven't got smoke detectors in your house, I'd get at least two. They don't cost a lot of money, 10 to 15 pounds. You can just screw them into the ceiling. You could have one. Best if you've only got two, have one in your hallway, one on your landing. And if you live on more floors, if you've got extra floors, have one on every floor because they can save lives. So it's nice that Jeffrey is so safety conscious, but oh, they make, a, they make a terrible noise when they're going off, don't they? But they need to, because if you're asleep and the fire starts, you need to wake up. I mean, I've got a fire here, but it's okay. I'm keeping an eye on it, but you shouldn't leave a fire unattended. Put a guard over it. Don't leave candles burning either. So <laughs> happy Christmas. To you, Jeffrey. Hopefully, you got your toy Mila, and maybe you got another smoke detector as well. And did you know Hoover made smoke detectors back in the day? They did a range called Fire Check, which included a smoke detector, a fire blanket, and a fire extinguisher. But you can't buy those anymore. So um, enjoy yourself today, Jeffrey, and uh, hopefully, you're enjoying playing with your toy Mila. Hello Martha. Martha, who is seven, still loves your channel and your Rogers Bits and Doings channel and still loves vacuum cleaners, the pneumatic range being her favourite still. Hello Martha, there's not many girls that like vacuum cleaners. I think I've got a shout out for another little girl coming up and of course I've said hello to a few little girls. I don't know if it was the video before this or this video. <laughs> I've shouted out to so many. It's mainly little boys that like vacuums for some reason, but yes, there are some little girls that like them as well. And uh, Martha does like vacuums, especially, of course, the smiley pneumatic range. Who doesn't like a smiley faced vacuum cleaner? I wonder if you've got anything vacuum related for Christmas, Martha. Sure. This little boy striking a pose is Ryan Minchel. Hello, Ryan. Ryan's going to be 10 on the 19th of December. So you are 10 now. So happy birthday for then and happy Christmas for now, Ryan. Ryan has been a fan of yours since he was four. Here he is with his new to him Dyson DC27. Merry Christmas, Roger, and thank you for all your videos. Oh, well, I hope you've got some ear defenders, isn't it? Do you think it's quite loud, Ryan, that Dyson? The DC27, I think I had one a few years ago. 
it was either a 20, DC-27 or a DC-33, I think. One of those, and it was, oh, it was so, so very loud. I, I, I sent it back, I think, within a few days. I couldn't bear the noise it made. But anyway, I'm sure you're enjoying yours. It's uh, probably picking up a lot of dirt, isn't it? But I wish it could do it a bit quieter. But anyway, happy Christmas and belated happy birthday again to you, Ryan. Please give a shout out to Alex Morgan, aged four. Hello, Alex. And here you are playing with your toy Dyson cordless vacuum. Alex loves anything electrical, but especially vacuum cleaners. He asked for yet another toy Dyson and a toy Bosch Unlimited for Christmas to add to his growing collection. He's watched all your videos and CBBs has now gone the way of the dodo. Chris, happy Christmas from Alex. So CBBs is now extinct in Alex's house because apparently he watches me more than CBBs. Well, I don't know if I'm giving him such an education, but I suppose I do more videos about vacuums than CBBs ever does. So um, <laughs> CBBs loss is uh, my gain. So thank you for watching, Alex, and a happy Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Roger, from Scott at Scott's Vac Shack. And here is Scott pictured with a Vac Shack mug. Scott has been busy this year adding a Kirby G2000 and a Hoover Constellation to his collection. Scott has been doing some fixing it forward when people donate him their old cleaners. He has been detailing them, washing, replacing filters, bags or belts, and giving them away as his personal collection is quite big. All the best for 2023 from Scott, James and Heather, Dad and Mum. Well, it's very nice of you, Scott, to give away cleaners you detail. That's detail. That's a, a word we use when detailing cars, isn't it? I've never heard of detailing vacuums. I, I would just, we use sort of refurbishing vacuums or doing them up. But yeah, I like that. Detailing vacuums. So do you put go faster stripes on them? <laughs> but yes, I'm sure when you get an old tatty vacuum, it leaves your hands all gleaming and working perfectly. So that's a lovely thing to do. So hopefully, um, well, I don't know if you wanted another vacuum for Christmas as you've so many. I certainly don't need any at the moment. I'm trying to get rid of some myself. But um, I hope you had a happy Christmas and happy Christmas to you and your family and of course, happy 2023. I don't have a photograph for this shout out, so I'll just read it out. Hi, I would be really grateful if you would say hello to my son, Joseph, who is five and is a huge fan of yours and Henry's and has asked Father Christmas for a wet and dry vac for Christmas. Thank you for keeping him informed. Well, hello, Joseph. I hope you did get a wet and dry vacuum for Christmas. I wonder if you got a pneumatic one, perhaps a Henry wet and dry, a Charles, or even a George. Well, I'm sure whatever you got, you've enjoyed playing with it. So happy Christmas to you, Joseph. This little boy is called Logan. Hello, Logan. Logan is aged three and he's pictured here in the employee news. I assume that's the pneumatic employee news. Logan watches your videos every day. If he is hurt or upset, the only fix is one of your videos. He already has his own real Henry vacuum and is hoping to add more to his collection really soon. He has asked Santa for a handheld vacuum. Well, Logan, I'm sure Santa could fit a handheld vacuum on his sleigh. I hope you enjoyed whatever he brought you and have been cleaning up all around the house with it. Shall I read out the article for everyone because it'd be hard to see. I'll just see if I can read it. Let's expand my screen. I'll just click on your picture. I think that's what I'll do. There we are. Ah, Logan's got his own Henry t-shirt with his name on as well. I can just about read it, so I'll read this out. So here's what the article says. Our young visitors are back. We've had our first young fan visit the factory for a site tour since the beginning of the pandemic. Logan, aged three, along with his brother Oscar, four months old, mum Gemma and dad Liam. They came all the way from Birmingham as Logan has been a super fan of Henry since he was 18 months old. 
The tour was led by Paul Stevenson and supported by Becky Coombs. Logan was in his element in the showroom and particularly loved flicking the switches on and off as well as winding and unwinding the cables. He was also a master of putting the attachments on the vacuums and knew the name of each one as he likes watching Henry and the other pneumatic appliances on YouTube. Well, that sounds again like an absolutely fantastic day out. So any of you that have been to the pneumatic factory, you're luckier than I've been, I can tell you now. I'm not, I'm not putting any hints in, you know, it's a long way for me to go. Although I was down that part of the, that neck of the woods a year or two ago, uh, could have popped in, but uh, no, I, I, um, I had other things to do, you see, I had the dogs with me. I don't think they'd let dogs in the factory. So <laughs> let's get back to the shout outs. In this picture, we have another young vacuum fan and a fan of pneumatic vacuum cleaners. Could you give a shout out to Jan? Jan is five and loves vacuum cleaners, Henry and friends in particular. As we're from Poland, he's also a fan of Zelmers. Blue Zelma Aquos on the left and Electroluxes. Right now, he's saving to get the Retro Zelma Predom. Well, yes, we don't have Zelma vacuums, I don't think, in the UK, Jan. Well, I think that's possible I could get one from Amazon, possibly, I don't know. But they're not, uh, they're not well known or known at all, really, amongst the, the general vacuum buying public. Vacuum fans have probably heard of Zelma. I've heard of Zelma. But um, no, it's not a brand that they really sell in the UK. Not at the moment, anyway. So I hope, uh, Jan, you had a happy Christmas and possibly added to your collection, maybe you got another pneumatic or a Zelma. Hello, Otto. Otto is aged four. He loves Hoovers and has seven toys, including Henry, Hetty, Bosch and Dysons. He loves your videos, especially the Advent and Christmas ones. He likes to do his own unboxings and if any friends or family get a new vacuum, they invite him to help open it. Merry Christmas, Roger and family, and thanks for keeping Otto entertained. Here is a picture of him with our Henry Quick. And on the television in the background is a fat man. I think he's showing off some sort of Henry Quick vacuum in that video. But I see you've gone for the grey Henry Quick instead of the traditional red. So I'm sure you enjoy using that, Otto. Hope you had a happy Christmas and... Uh, Happy Christmas to you, your family, and uh, a lovely 2023 to all of you. We have yet another pneumatic fan. This is Harry, aged three. Hello, Harry. He watches you every single day. He has a red Henry, blue, green, yellow, Hetty, and a new grey Henry. He's hoping for a Bertie or Lewis for Christmas, but I think Santa has stopped making those. Merry Christmas. I'm afraid, yes, Santa has stopped making Bertie and Lewis, which is a shame, but I'm sure whatever Santa managed to fit in his sleigh, you've enjoyed. But you've got lots of different colours there, haven't you? Still many more to collect, but that's a good collection to start with. So happy Christmas to you, Harry. Hello, Arthur. And here's a picture of Arthur playing in the snow. He is obsessed with Hoovers, especially Henry. He owns three and a couple of generic ones too. He loves to watch your videos, they help calm him. He has even done his own unboxing videos to copy you. Well, I'm sure they're better than mine, Arthur, but um, keep up the videos. You'll soon be taking my job away from me, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully you've got uh, something vacuum related in your Christmas stocking this year. So I hope you had a lovely day. Happy Christmas and a happy new year to you and your family. Here's another little boy enjoying the snow. Hello, Charlie. Charlie is three and loves to watch your videos every day. He has his first Dyson cordless hoover, the latest one, and often pretends his toys are hoovers. He says, Merry Christmas tree. He thinks that's how you say Merry Christmas. Thank you from Charlie. Well, Merry Christmas tree to you, Charlie. Hope you didn't get too cold playing in the snow. If you get a lot of snow, you might be able to make yourself a snow vacuum cleaner instead of a snowman. That would be good. 
If you've got any snow vacuum cleaner pictures, put them on my Facebook page. I'd like to see them. That would be a bit different to the usual snowmen that people make. So I hope you had a Merry Christmas, Charlie. Could you give a shout out to Declan? Hello, Declan. Declan, who will be 10 in January, wishes you a very Merry Christmas. This year, Santa will be bringing him a Swan Pet Turbo Bagless Upright to give his review on. He really wanted a Hoover Breeze Evo Bagless Pet Upright. He may just get one for his birthday. Any opinions on those Hoovers, Roger? I'm sure he'd love to hear them. Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know if I've actually used the Hoover Breeze Evo, but I have used the Hoover Blaze which is more or less the same as far as I remember. But as far as a budget bagless cleaner goes, they're not bad. But if Declan wants to read some reviews, you can, I'm sure they sell it on Amazon and other places. You can see what other people have bought it, say about it. But as far as I remember, it's okay, you know, for a budget vacuum cleaner. And I'd certainly pick a Hoover Breeze over a cheap Vax machine, that's for sure. I'm sure it lasts longer than a Vax. So um, it'd be interesting to see if you do get one for your birthday, Declan. But yes, they're worth, they're worth trying out. Good bagless budget cleaner, I'd say. Anyway, happy Christmas to you, Declan, and happy birthday for January. Please give a shout out to Jessica, aged six. And here is Jessica vacuuming with a Henry. We can't see her head, but uh, she's hard at work there cleaning that floor. Here she is helping with the housework with her own Henry Hoover she got from Santa last year. She's asked for Hetty this year. Well, Jessica, I hope you did get a Hetty because Henry, Henry's been quite lonely, I'm sure, without Hetty to keep him company. There's nothing worse than seeing a poor Henry on his own in the corner or even worse in the cupboard with the door shut. Henry gets claustrophobic but Henry's fine in the cupboard as long as he's got a friend with him. So that could either be Hetty, could be a James, Charles, or even Henry Quick. But Henry's don't do well on their own. He loves being used. Henry loves it when you take him out, pull out his big long 10 meter cable, plug him in, switch him on, and clean around the home. That is when Henry has the biggest smile on his face. But when he's put away, he doesn't like it. So hopefully, you have got Hetty to keep him company because they do need each other, Henry and Hetty, don't they? So anyone watching now, if you've got a Hetty on her own or a Henry on his own, please do the decent thing and get them a friend because Henry and Hetty are for life, not just for Christmas. So please remember that. Well, that's nearly the end of the video. I hope I've managed to get everyone in that requested a shout out. Apologies if I've missed you. I have gone through my Facebook page again, just to double check. So I think, fingers crossed, that everyone that requested a shout out got one. I've got one final shout out to do. It's actually on my iPad because I couldn't work out how to put it onto my computer. I'm that old. Uh, this is a shout out and another apology to Daniel. This picture here is of Daniel, aged five, just turned aged five. He only recently had a birthday and Daniel lives in Salisbury in Wiltshire. And Daniel is there posing with a lot of lovely vacuums, including a shark cordless handheld machine that, he, that his dad actually bought for me. Yes, I actually owned that and uh, I made a silly mistake. I boxed it all up and sent it off and forgot to put in the filter and the little bagless container because what I did was I washed it all out before I sent it off and I forgot that they were drying in the airing cupboard. So I sent it and Daniel opened it on his birthday and it was missing those parts and I was mortified but I made sure I got those parts packaged up and sent off that day so by now he has got them according to the tracking so he can finally use that shark handheld but um, so sorry about that, Daniel. Hope it didn't spoil your birthday. But you've got a nice selection of cleaners there, including a Vax, Wix Wet and Dry, a Karsha, a Makita handheld, and several toy vacuums, and a Henry there disguising himself as a Hetty. So I wonder if that Henry was born in the wrong body 
and he wanted to be a Hetty with lovely eyelashes. So he's, he's, he's covered his Henry name with the Hetty. Perhaps that's what happened, I don't know. I wonder if you got a Hetty to go with your other Hetty. And perhaps your other Hetty can now become Henry again. Who knows? But anyway, whatever you want to do, that's fine by me. If you want your Henry to be a Hetty, that's okay. And Hetty can be Henry and Henry can be Hetty and George can be a Wendy, if you've got a Wendy. We can be whatever we want to, I suppose, as long as it's not uh, doing any harm to anyone. But that, Daniel, is a, a lovely collection. And I hope you're enjoying using that shark. One of my very own vacuum cleaners. Not many people own a vacuum cleaner that I've actually had. So um, I hope you enjoy that. That really is it. Um, thank you to everyone who watches my videos, especially the younger fans. Keep watching them, plenty more coming next year. There'll be more pneumatics coming for you, pneumatic fans, don't worry. There'll be more sharks, some Dysons, Sebos, Hoovers, no Vaxes, but lots of other brand brands that uh, I'll be showing you over the course of next year. So that is it. Enjoy the rest of the day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.